Yeah, good morning, guys. You know, it happened around 4.30 this morning, and right now, still a very heavy police presence here at Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo. As we pan behind me and see the scene right now, as you can see, the police tape blocking off this area of Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo, not letting any cars through, even tourists walking around, are being told to stay away from this area as they're trying to investigate and find out exactly what happened here. Well, they're keeping the tourists, even on foot, away. But what about the people inside this zone uh, at these casino hotels? Are they basically holed up in the hotel and casinos? Well, as far as we know, I don't think they're holding anyone back or having a lockdown at any of these hotels. I'm sure they're talking to a lot of people and the police are going in and out of hotels, hopefully maybe even looking for suspects. Maybe they may still be around the area, but they're looking for these uh, uh, this vehicle. But again, who knows where the suspects are? So they're talking to everybody. But as far as we know, none of the hotels in this area are under lockdown. We see tourists walking around, especially a little farther away from Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo. It seems like everything is normal except for this corner. So again, if you're uh, driving, working around this area, stay away from this intersection. It's going to be closed for quite some time. Yeah. Okay. Petrania joins us. Petrania, what can you tell us? Well, you know what, Scott? There's so many angles to this story. Are we going to be looking at them all? And as Scott said earlier, Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo will be shut down until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. So definitely a good advice to stay away. This investigation is well underway as the search for the suspects continue. We will be looking more closely at that later on this afternoon and who they may be. And a lot of people are talking about the cab that got caught up in all of this and exploded in the middle of the strip. And you want to check out this video. We got some pretty dramatic cell phone video in from our viewer Mike Merriman who saw all this happen. And as you heard there, the cab that got hit by the Maserati caught on fire and exploded on impact. The driver and the passenger were both killed. We're looking into how that happened. Police say the vehicle may have been running on propane, which is highly flammable. So is that protocol? And what do passengers have to think about the next time they get into a cab? So for now, Metro continues to update us on this investigation. They will be talking to witnesses and look at all the surveillance videos from all these hotels on the strip as well as the areas along the strip themselves as well. So we're going to have the latest on all that coming up tonight on 8 News Now at 4, 5 and 6. So stay tuned. Paul and Denise, I'll send it back to you. You know, the chances of people getting hit, getting hurt and even getting killed as you saw today is very high and it is very scary for people who live here. I mean, we don't come down to the strip very often, but there are tourists down here all the time. Of course, they're hearing all this commotion happened and I actually right here with Muriel and Federica and they're visiting from London and you guys are staying at the Bellagio and tell me what you heard at four o'clock this morning. Well, I, I was awake because of the time difference uh, between London and here and I heard uh, sirens and, and police sirens and uh, because we hear them all the time I was sort of was concerned but obviously um, I thought it was a normal kind of thing here. Yeah and it's but first time in Vegas and you hear is the shooting three people dead that's that's pretty scary. Yes it is very much so. Yeah, when yeah. you're walking down the strip do you ever feel like it's not safe even late at night? Uh, not this part of town this is why we chose the Bellagio because it's a, it's a safe part of, uh, of Vegas we wouldn't like to be the other side of the strip uh, you know downtown but here, yes, it fell safe, so we were quite surprised to hear what was going on. And what's interesting is your daughter, Federica, here, you actually work for a newspaper in London, and you got a text from a friend who worked in the paper. What did she tell you this morning? She was just telling us, basically, that um, there'd been a shooting, and it's not safe. We need to get out of here. Um, so it's a bit scary, but, um, I mean, we have these kind of things in England and in London particularly. So, I mean, not quite on this scale, but we are used to things obviously like this. But, yeah, it's quite worrying when you wake up to a text telling you that three people are dead and it's just outside your hotel. We just got that information in and sources have now confirmed to Aid News Now that the person killed was Kenny Sherry Jr., also known as Kenny Clutch. And he was driving his Maserati right here behind me, Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo early this morning when a Range Rover pulled up next to him him and someone inside that vehicle opened fire, killing Cherry. A passenger that was in that Maserati was also injured. Well, earlier this afternoon, Sheriff Doug Gillespie came out to say that this all stemmed from a fight at a valet lot at Aria Resort and Casino. After that shooting, the Range Rover got away and the Maserati lost control, slammed into several vehicles, including a cab that caught on fire and exploded right there at the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo. The driver and the passenger
passenger in that taxi were killed. And of course, we talked to people here on the street. They couldn't believe it happened right here. The people also injured in that there are about three or four other people injured in that crash and they're all were taken to UMC. According to police, they were actually all had modest injuries and they're all expected to be OK. We're still trying to find the condition of the passenger in that Maserati. Now we want to talk more about this Kenny Sherry Jr. because we just got that information in. We've been seeing Facebook posts um, all afternoon about people leaving messages on his Facebook page and on Twitter pages saying as, as well saying uh, rest in peace. You know, we feel sorry for for what happened to you and your family. And uh, so we're learning more about him and he is uh, he was apparently an aspiring rapper and also a well known pimp right here in the valley. We had some YouTube video we showed you earlier of him uh, rapping while in a Maserati and now sources have confirmed it was him in that Maserati and he was the victim in the shooting early this morning. So right now police are looking for the suspect or suspects in this case. We do have a description of that vehicle. It's a black Range Rover Sport SUV. We do know that it has a dealership plate on it and maybe he just bought it or it was taken from a dealership lot somewhere. Not here in Nevada though out of state. It has uh, black rims with tinted windows and they believe the people in the vehicle were African-American males. So that's the latest from Metro Police. They don't want you to approach this vehicle. If you see this, contact police immediately. Reporting live from the Las Vegas Strip, Patranya Poonswan, 8 News Now.